Good morning, Internet. So my friend Ron uh, sent me an article this week about basically cable companies just had their worst year ever um, in terms of number of subscribers. Basically, their graph looks like this. And Netflix's graph, um, on the other hand, looks exactly the opposite. looks like this. And um, it, it's, it's interesting because it, it, it seems to... Um, prove people are cutting the cord, they're leaving cable, and they're going to Netflix. The problem is, that's not what's happening. Because if you look at pay TV as a whole, the numbers are flat. People aren't leaving cable for Netflix. They're buying Netflix, but they're buying Netflix in addition to cable or satellite or IPTV through Verizon, AT&T, or Google. People aren't giving up regular TV. They're just changing who they get it through. And to to anyone that's ever had to deal with a cable company before, this is no surprise. If it says anything, uh, people are leaving companies like like Charter and Time Warner, and they're going to companies like AT&T and Verizon. Companies that regularly rank in the bottom tier of customer service. No one likes their cell phone company, but they'd rather deal with their cell phone company than deal with the cable company, if that tells you anything. That's what's going on here. And it's basically, it comes down to, I think, just good old-fashioned customer service, um, which the cable companies just don't know how to do. It's not the bundling, it's the price. It's the fact that they've been given local monopolies for years now. That's the problem with doing a video in the parking lot. It's the fact that they've been given these local monopolies for years now. Uh, They've just let themselves stagnate. They've let themselves raise the rates to ridiculous extremes. Uh, The whole industry is really ready for, for someone to come in and just lay waste to that, to offer cable, I call, what I call cable, I mean paid television in general, a 200 channel package for $40 a month, uh, no gimmicks or gotchas or, you know, stuff, I don't know how to bleep on this thing yet, so I'm not going to say what I really want to say, and I think that's what Google's trying to do um, with Google Fiber. Um, you know, obviously Google Fiber is a, a, an amazing internet service, but on top of that, they also offer um, a television component and all. And you get the standard slate of shows for an affordable price that doesn't change. So, when is Google Fiber going to come to Greenville? And that's really the, that's really the downer to this whole thing is... It's going to take a lot for someone to come in and change things up. I asked on Cora recently, and someone basically said, if you won, like, the, the $230 million Powerball lottery and sunk every single penny of that into making a new cable company, maybe going over the Internet or maybe just in general, but a new paid television provider, that would not be enough startup capital to get the thing off the ground because of the the massive upfront investment required for this thing. So, Google, I don't say this very often, but I'm going to say it now. Google, please save us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.